if you were a tech blogger and armchair analyst in 2011, there is no better way to flaunt your deep insight and knowledge of the gaming world than to pontificate endlessly of the downfall of Nintendo, the failure of the Nintendo 3DS, the demise of the Wii. And meanwhile, while this was going on, Nintendo sold more than 12 million systems throughout 2011. That includes more than 3.4 million of the Nintendo DS family and more than 4 million Nintendo 3DS systems. I mean, that the 3DS outsold Nintendo DS's first year on the market in just eight months. And aside from that, the 3DS sold more units than we did in its first nine months. So, yes, the 3DS failed to meet Nintendo's own lofty, ambitious uh, initial expectations. But once they picked up the pieces and got their act together, Nintendo whooped tail at retail with the 3DS. And then they sold 4.5 million units of the Wii. Yeah, on Black Friday alone, Nintendo sold 500,000 units. And between Black Friday and January 1st, 2012, They've sold more than a million Wii's. And I know, like, the, of course, the gut reaction from the critics is, oh, those are just, you know, the casual players that are just going to play Wii Sports and Wii Fit, and they, they're not real gamers. And first of all, that doesn't matter how they play their systems. That, first of all, that doesn't matter. And secondly, I mean, if you look at the top, the top 40 charts for the week of December 24th, the week ending December 24th, 2011. We have more than 230,000 units of new Super Mario Bros. Wii. We have more than 270,000 of Mario Kart Wii. And 123,000 of Mario Sports Mix. And these are games that have been out for a while. And these are certainly not the games... These are absolutely not the games we associate with... You know, when you think of Wii Sports Grandma or, you know, the total novice newcomer just going to be into Wii Sports and Wii Fit, the, you know, cr that's those, you know, Mar Mario Brothers Wii is certainly not the games we'd associate with them. And those games are still selling, selling, and that would, of course, be perfectly in line with, you know, all these new units that they're selling. And, okay, that aside, just look at Zelda alone. So we know Nintendo sold 500,000 Wiis on Black Friday. And between the launch of the Skyward Sword and Black Friday, Nintendo sold a copy of Skyward Sword for every new Wii they sold on Black Friday. So they sold as many copies of Zelda, they sold as much copies of Zelda to match what they sold on Black Friday alone. So that once again does not fit in with this picture of, oh, it's only, you know, the novice casual gamers that are going to that are buying the Wii now because you know uh, my grandma who has a Wii is certainly not going to be crossing swords with goblins anytime soon and speaking of Skyward Sword the 45th Wii game to sell more than 1 million units yes from its launch from Skyward Sword's launch to now it's already sold more than a million the 45th Wii title to do so and through the holiday season you know they sold more than a million units of Wii and that's and they sold more than one million units of Skyward Sword. So we, so Zelda is absolutely selling systems in addition to selling to people who already owned a Wii. And just let's let's just put the Wii into perspective in terms of what it's accomplished. In 1990, business analysts, you know, the experts, considered the Nintendo Entertainment System to have reached total saturation at 29 million units. At 29 million units, they said Nintendo has saturated the market. There's no more hardware left to be sold for the NES. And that was when the NES was, you know, it's the most successful, arguably the most successful Nintendo system to date. The only Nintendo home system to completely dominate with no competition in the home console space, with no significant competition at all. Nintendo sold 29 million units and saturated the market. Now, we has sold more than 39 million units. That's more than 10 million systems beyond 
what was considered saturation in the NES days, and that is with, and with two competing systems which have respectively sold 38 million and 23 million systems, and Nintendo against that have still sold 39 million units, 10 million units more than what their most successful, most dominant system ever was able to achieve. So Nintendo's grown the market, they've expanded the market, and they've made, remained robust against much more powerful uh, systems. Nintendo's totally went beyond that. And I know a lot of people are going to say, yeah, those are nice numbers about the 3DS and how much the Wii is sold, but that's only because of Japan. Japan loves Nintendo. They can only achieve those numbers because of, you know, because of all the support from Japan. No. Every, the numbers I've told you for Wii and for 3DS, that is only for the United States. Yes, that, uh, that, that 4.5 million units of Wii, that, that you know, 4 million 3DSs, that is only for the United States, not even all of North America, just for the United States. So, you could like what you choose to like, and that may or may not include Nintendo, and Nintendo may or may not be popular with you or your little uh, little walled garden of the gaming uh, community, but if you want to say that Nintendo doesn't have momentum, doesn't isn't popular, isn't speaking to gamers, then you're objectively incorrect, just in terms of the numbers. And they absolutely have the momentum they need to go into the eighth generation and accomplish their objectives with 3DS and with Wii U. And the energy and the momentum Nintendo has going into the eighth generation is not just a matter of Nintendo's 2011 retail performance. It is also something that rests in the fan base. And throughout 2011, we saw that fans are able to boost the subject of their interests and promote the subject of their interests in ways that makes large numbers of people take notice. And that, that has included Nintendo fans in ways that they probably aren't even especially aware of. And that fan energy is building up momentum and by and going into 2012 E3 it's going to build up into a wave and that wave is going to be something that all Nintendo gamers can be a part of and this is something that Nintendo began but they aren't prepared for the real impact of what that's going to bring to their doorstep and as far as that is concerned, I would recommend you keep an eye on my videos, on my Twitter, and on my Tumblr, and uh, start spreading the word. Uh, something is going to be announced very soon concerning that, and I can't wait to share it with you. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs>